members of parliament on the health committee toward the radiotherapy center, children cancer wards, center of excellency, and radiotherapy banker center, the state of art radiotherapy machines, laboratory services, and the daily management clinical services at the institute was promising. The committee members appealed for cancer services to be extended to the grassroots. Wouldn't it be more training for oncologists, more out outreaches in the community for screening and early intervention? Because science has it that when you detect early, intervene early, you have better treatment outcomes. The executive director of Uganda Cancer Institute, Dr. Jackson Oriam, appealed to the health committee for more financial support. We have about 13, maybe at most about 14 million dollars. We should be able to equip the radiotherapy bankers completely. So that means the number has more than double the incidence of cancer. And that goes with also high mortality because only 20% uh, of our cancer patients live more than a year. After one year, if you go back, you'll find that 80% of them have died. Yeah, so that means we have high cancer incidence, high mortality uh, rate. The committee chair, Charles Ayome, says the national cancer policy, which is in its final stages, will enhance cancer care and management. A multisexual approach to deal with the cancer burden was also encouraged. But we are saying also that uh, the figures are quite high. Prevention is the way to go. We are excelling in management, in treatment with all these beautiful machines. But I think uh, in terms of... Uh, health promotion, what are we doing as a country? It is not only within the domain of Ministry of Health or UCI, but it's multi-sectoral because uh, most of these are behavioral issues. How do we prevent this cancer? How do we detect it early? What are the early warning signs? And this has to cascade, cascade to, to the regional level. Screening and basic management should also be at uh, general hospitals, health center fours, and probably also health center threes. Uganda registers at least 34,000 new cancer cases annually, of which Uganda Cancer Institute receives about 20% of the patients. Unfortunately, the mortality is often high due to late reporting of patients, with most at stage 3 and 4. Zahra Abigaba, UBC News.